in my ass. Yo. Who say with that pump? Relay with that pump. Race. He say with that pump. What do you do? You fuck niggas pumps. What's up guys, this is Mr. Amazing, and let's get right into how you can create these effects. So, using a peer ease, you're gonna see that you're gonna have a lot of different effects here. Some are gonna say PX, PY, R, S, that's all of them. Um, PX is gonna stand for Position X, PY, Position Y, um, Rotation is R, and then S is Scale. For the position plugins, LR is left right, so RL is right left. DT means down to top, bottom to top. And then TD means top down. What this second, um, or third rather, set of numbers here indicates is how many pixels you're going to be moving by. And then for all these plugins, what on and off is going to indicate is whether it's ramping up in the case of an off plugin or ramping down in the case of an on plugin. And you're gonna see what I mean by that. For rotation, we have rotation X, rotation Y, and rotation Z. So it's gonna rotate around a different axis for each one. And what 180 and negative 180 is going to indicate is how many degrees you're rotating by. What scale is gonna indicate um, in 50 or 200 is whether you're scaling down, like scaling downward from 100 to 50, or scaling upwards to 200 from 100. So I have a couple different ways here these plugins can be used. Uh, general graphics, pictures, videos, and text. So I'm going to demonstrate these plugins to you using each of these four ways. Beginning simply with uh, position X. Let's go with position X from right to left, 100 off, and then 100 on. What you're going to see is this creates a movement to the left where the position of this initial shape here is replaced by this one. And what's nice about these is I have a subsequence here. So I can go into this clip, extend it out, extend this out then, and I can make this transition much longer if I want it to be. And you see, it m takes much longer to arrive at its final destination if this clip is longer. And I can apply multiple sorts of this effect on top to extend how far it's actually moving. And I'm not going to demonstrate that because it is a bit slow on my computer. So, going next to images, we can adjust position Y by using one of these position Y plugins, going from down to top. We get something like that. And now, suppose you only want this bit of each of these clips to have this transition on it. You can do that too. And that's going to be a little bit jerky, but it works and it's doable. Now, for video, I'm going to demonstrate. Um, rotation. So let's just do rotation around the x-axis. And you're going to need for this one, instead of, you saw how when I would pick one, I would pick the corresponding off to the on. For this, you're not going to do that. You're going to do the one that really comes diagonal. Because you're going to want to go, if you're going from negative 180, you're going to go negative 180 off to positive 180 on. And that'll create a nice turnover. Demonstrating why, just because why not. You can create a turnover this way. Now going to text. You can do some really cool things with text. And I'm going to demonstrate scale for text. But I'm also going to demonstrate position. So, going from 50 off to 200 on, you create almost like a camera pushback. 
and that looks pretty nice. Now I could also drag a position effect on here, because you can put multiple effects on the same clip here. And say I want to do 50 off, 50 on, and now it's you can see that it's slightly tilted towards the left side of the screen. The axis is shifted a little bit. And maybe I would like to put a rotation effect on here too. Well, I combine X and Y, that's not going to look that good. Let's go like that. After a certain point, it doesn't look that good, but that's passable, you know? Let's take, if you could take the position off. That, that looks pretty cool. But taking all these effects off now, what we can do with position in particular is we can do a sort of flowy transition between three clips. And so I can take, let's do position Y, 50 off, 50 on, but then let's apply a 50 off here as well, and then a 50 on here. And so what you get here is, first of all, a consistent movement. From here to here, consistent movement, and then into this third clip, consistent movement. This clip never stops. It's continuously moving the same direction. So you could do it that way. Or what you could also do is instead of applying two DTs to this clip, you could apply um, a top down, which is a TD. So TD 50 off. And what's that going to do? And what's that going to do? It's going to create a sort of jerky look. Where you can see it's coming up and then it wants to come back down. So we can take this clip off and then apply a top down 50 on, and you're gonna get this. And this is an, a particular effect that I used in the XXX Tentacion video, because I wanted to sync text to the actual lyrics of the song itself that was playing in the background. And it, it looks nice. It's a very nice look. But that in general is just four of the many ways you can use these effects and if you have the free version you're unfortunately going to be limited to position but if you do end up purchasing the paid version you're going to get all of these effects and there really is a lot you can do with them if you want to take them into apple motion you can customize them and uh, do your own thing with them if you have any questions about this effect set, my videos, or anything else I do on my channel, please shoot me an email at mr.amazing.yt at gmail.com, and I'll be happy to give you some answers. Thank you very much.